you know, I also, you, you know, story-wise, I guess I was, you know, in a humorous, because Prabhupada was also all about humor. Prabhupada was very funny, you know, and, and a lot of it, I think, really went over um, heads many yes. times, you know, trying to understand. You know, he had a very particular humor. But being with him, you know, you could grasp it, you know, you could learn to, at least I thought I could. So it was my favorite my favorite story, if you read my book, is of course when I was in Bhaktivedanta Manor and I had been with him for a year and of course, you know, I was very um, observant. Yeah, I mean, Prabhupada said I did everything, you know, I did all my massage, cooking, everything worked out nicely. So anyway, I felt that. So of course that day I was massaging him at the manor, you know, on this shiny wooden floor. And uh, as I moved around his body, I knocked a bottle of mustard oil onto the floor. Mm. So, of course, we're both in just a gumsha, and he's on a straw mat on the floor, so it knocked over. And he tried to get it, but even he didn't get it quickly enough. So it fell, and of course, I picked it up, and then there's oil. So immediately just shouted at me, you know, and he okay. said, you fool. He said, you'll be intelligent when you're 80. So, and he was angry, you know, angry visibly. And he just said, go get a katuri, like that. So I just ran out of the room and I got a katuri and I run back into the room and he's just sitting on the mat waiting for me. And he goes, uh, now do like I'm doing. And he just stuck his hand right in the oil and started scraping it into the, the, the bowl, the little stainless steel bowl, katuri. So the two of us are doing that. And of course, now he doesn't say one word now. And you're just doing it and you feel, you know, this heavy, you know. I mean, maybe it was all in my mind, but that's yes. what you feel, you know, like, yes. you, I mean, he just screamed at me, and now he's silent, so it went from screaming to silence, which is, it's worse even, you know, at least when you, <laughs> then you don't get any, you get no associations, <laughs> so um, we do that, and then he just says, massage me with that oil, huh. so that was like, that was like a real, they say insult the injury, you know, like, oh, because obviously it's not the purest oil anymore, you know, little thickies of dust particles and who knows what else. But that's what I got the massage him with, and he doesn't say anything. So now I'm thinking, what do I say? How do I fix this? And of course, never in the next half hour where he's sitting quietly, not even looking, his eyes are closed, he's just like that, and I'm massaging everything. And I'm in total anxiety. And and I'm thinking, what can I say to him? And of course, I never think, say you're sorry. You know, that word never entered my head ever with Prabhupada to say I was sorry. It was always I had to, I had to make it right. Mm. But that's not easy because you can't do it talking. Mm. So I, for the next half hour as I'm moving around, I'm thinking what to say. And I, I formulated, it wasn't hard, but I, you know, I never spoke to Prabhupada with, I mean, if I was going to ask him something or respond, I always had to think a few times, you know. Yes. Because you know he's going to say something, so then you have to be ready for the next the next thing he says. I mean, no, it's really, this is how I, I thought. So finally, I'm at his feet. So that's the end of the massage. I'm massaging those lotus feet. Mm. And I go, Prabhupada. And he just, hmm. And I said, thank you. I said, I thought it would take a lot longer for me to become intelligent. Mm. And he started laughing and laughing and laughing and slapping his knee and laughing and his whole body shaking and tears are coming down. Because I knew, I knew, with Prabhupada, everything was special, you know. And then he goes, yes, he said, he said, um, when we were young, he said, if somebody, one of our friends, did something foolish, we would say, you are a fool, you'll be intelligent when you're 80. Mm -hmm. He said, and I have used it on you. <laughs> but it completely, everything, so immediately, it wasn't a question, it, it was just there. Yes. And we, you know, and then immediately everything changed.